Okay. Ah. I thought that was it, man. Like, I really thought... Oh, wait. That's a shit matchup. Very nice. I guess I'll start off by saying uh, Vladimir still needs support to make this really shine. And I really did try. I got a comment, you know, but I'll put it up there. You know, make a Vladimir deck. <laughs> I really have been trying. But I think if you want something that can work some of the time, hopefully 50% of the time, then I guess Freyord, Vladimir with Braum or Vladimir with uh, Sejuani just might be the best bet to go. I'll leave a link to maybe Bruised by God's uh, first list. I'm going to leave that in the comments. And I will also leave your deck code to this one. I'll leave a link to his uh, Mobilytics page with this deck that he currently has, which is a Sejuani and Vladimir. But for now, for today, I'm going to try and win this game. <laughs> you would have seen at the start of the video just... Ah, yeah, it was tough, man. It was tough, I'll be honest. But here we are. We've got Vladimir Brom. We've got just three ofs most of the round of the deck. We're talking like most of the Crimson package. We've got Brom, we've got Take Heart. Very standard list. And we are just gonna... We're gonna see if we can get a win here. At least show the potential of what Vladimir can do. Am I right? Because like we want to see Vladimir shine. At the moment, I think Freyold and Vladimir is the best way right now. Maybe things will change in the future. I was really keen to muck around with, uh, with build, uh, Bilgewater, sorry. I really did try to do something with Bilgewater. And it, I, got, I got a pretty funny game, but that was due to just pure pilfering and nonsense, which I'm sure will make for a hilarious highlight down the track. But without doubt, I am running Omenhawk in this list. And I feel like I just want one more one drop that can synergize with the rest of the deck. So, unironically, I'm running Unscarred Reaver. <laughs> Here we are. I just want something to soak up damage and buff Vladimir as soon as we can. Look, I'll even swing with a 0 mana 0 3. By all means, if you haven't already noticed, yeah, it is, it, we're kind of memeing, alright? Let's be honest. Competitive Vladimir might be a thing soon. So it's early days, but it, it, it's not... You got the drain and stuff. Vladimir is still pretty much the same. The decks that, that would be built around him it would be pretty much the same. Nothing else really changed dramatically to the whole entire card collection. So, unironically... Um, unironically, I think Vladimir ends up the same. The drain's not really matters. The drain can keep you alive in some matchups to make, you know, possibly... Uh, Vladimir more competitive against aggro and you can pretty much just win the game through Just pure just surviving and having more value than they do which is not uncommon with the Vladimir deck but um Yeah, it would end up roughly in the same neighborhood, right? So I'm going to probably just hit him in the face here. What are we versing? We're versing Ezreal Karma I developed something I can back it up a looks of vine Sure, I'll develop a 3-3 three, three here. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing this live. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to like get the footage prior, do an intro for it and stuff. This is just really, I want to make this video really raw and down to earth in terms of my opinion on Vladimir. You know, I wanted to honor our, our comment that we received. You know, they wanted to see Vladimir. I'll give you Vladimir. I'm more than happy to do that. Also, I partnered up with um, Mobilytics. So, shout outs to them. Pretty sure I elixir of iron here. See, everything is falling into place right now with how I would imagine that we'd stand a chance, right? I mean, we're just dealing six damage to our opponent. Not entirely sure if that's enough. So we've got the assassin, the assessor here. We've got three copies of this because Nox is frail or does tend to uh, lack in the card draw department. You can actually refill technically as card draw, the Crimson Creator, kind of makes for low key card draw. But oh, he's he's really just walking into his own traps. But I think card draw is generally better than card generation. He's um, yeah, he's just really just falling into it all. I mean, he, how is he supposed to know exactly what's going on though? 
Okay, so we're going wide here, right, guys? I found my family, my blood kin. It's hard for him to play cards like Static Shock, at least. Uh, Mystic Shot's a realistic card here. We have three copies of Elixir of Iron, so I would have loved to have had one more now. He may even be so petrified after the first two, which really throw him off guard, being honest. I'll take it. I'm developing still. I pretty much hold back Assessor until I find something to play alongside it. Yeah, Thermo Beam? Sure. Oh, let's go in. I really wanted to fit another one drop in, as I said, though. That's how we end up with the Unscarred Reaver, if I'm being completely honest. And I'm also running uh, the Crimson. I think it's the... Uh, what's the other Crimson card? Uh, Ast Aristocrat? I'm also running that alongside them. And I'm running Take Heart and stuff. So, you know, in, in, in a certain matchup, Unscarred Reaver could actually be, be a bit of a, nu non a nuisance. Sorry, that's the word. But it's going down now, anyway. So I guess at this point, do I play a 4 mana 4-3 in a... F no, can't be right. I, have the leg. I, need the I miss out on like the one point of attack, but... Um, so I'm going to choose to play these two instead. Clara, we have much to you. I can't wait. you tell me there's a chance I kill him off the top. Force, him, force his hand into Will of Ionias and stuff. We see lethal, we take lethal. Am I right? Static Shock doesn't do enough for him. Will of Ionia is an answer. Mystic Shot is an answer. Yeah, I guess um, this is pretty raw, isn't it? There goes Static Shock. There goes Will, surprisingly enough. I guess it slows us down, buys a turn, but he needs an answer to really kill something. There's the Mystic Shot. So we actually threw back the Will of Ionia. That's pretty impressive. I don't see any reason not to play Braum here. Take heart. He drops a Thermo Beam into it, sure. Fuck, do I just do I just build a board? I think so. He's got one card in hand, like. You need to start drawing into exactly the, the cards he needs. Transfusion's nice. Sure. We'll be passing for now. I mean, there's a potential lethal here, isn't there? I see lethal. I'll attempt to fuck me. I did it wrong. Ah. Uh. That's a kind of weird. Uh, my brain just like, seriously, seriously fired then, guys. I thought that if um, I transfusion the disciple and then blocked here, it was gonna be. That's kind of a weird play. I'm just gonna block you. And now that I think about it, I probably should have just blocked with the curator. I mean, sure, that's his entire hand. It's not uncommon for me to find top deck lethals. I just play one more card, right? The right to call themselves Trifarian. So I try to build this list as consistent as possible. And we just... <laughs> like, this should be over, right? We need, like, deep meditation or something. Not entirely how, like, I would have liked this game to have gone down, but... We did it raw. So we'll do one more. Honor. I'll, I'll do my honor. Oh, Garen and Sejuani. This is spice. This is what we like to see. Curve. But Assessor wouldn't be the best to keep. It may be. Or the card draw that we'll need later in the game. Hard to say. 
We're just gonna rely on drawing into it later. I need to find like, you know, combat tricks and stuff like that. Wow, this, uh, this, this is the curve. Chefs. Radiant Strike. I'll still decide to do the um, yeah, I'm gonna I developed the disciple here because he may play like war chefs or something. Or he might not even have anything. The upside's too good, isn't it? To justify not developing there. He misses two drop as well. This usually kills you. I like the idea of usually killing a unit. Maybe I should consider running this card as well. In the three mana slot. He's got combat tricks, doesn't he? He, But this usually kills it unless he buffs it with attack. I'll take my chances here. Getting that off the field can give us a huge boost, right? I think the upside's too... Too good. Son of a bitch. Just another winter. Moon the blood. I took my chances. And we got punished for it. So how do I deal with you now? my biggest dude this is tough I could just play awakener or I could tank damage next turn play awakener This is purely to play better on curve for the mana. I can go Curator into Disciple next turn, or Vladimir. Do I even swing? Hmm. Ah. He's got combat tricks waiting for me. I won't fall into his trap. So I never blocked that. I never blocked that because I never attacked last turn. For justice, for Advan, come here, handsome. Hello, dear. An awakener would be super nice. In the war mother's name. I'm gonna play you? I'm going to play single combat. The 6-6 six, six buff makes it survive a single combat. Fortunately, I'm good enough mana to play Transfusion. I'm still going to be swinging in. I'm going to go Hail Mary on this turn. Okay. I think if I still swing, it does its thing, right? Yeah, it still does its thing. We go for it. We go for it, pretty sure. Levels up Vladimir as well, so there's a chance that... uh. He wouldn't deal one, two, three. He, he, would, he would level up before the attack goes through. I'm not sure. I'm still swinging because we're, we're pushing and draining a lot of. We're not draining yet. We're giving him some really good trades here, though. Insanely good trades just to push what? How much damage? Maybe we should have passed this turn. Insane trades for him. Is the first of many foes. It's gonna deny me value. I stand ready. He's not gonna deny my value. It's it. This one makes less sense. We like a challenge. This is a reasonable play. 
I can't see. Is he like just dead anyway on board? Oh, he's just dead anyway. Well, how about that? Huh. I mean, we're doing five. Yeah, there's two disciples on board. So that's eight. No, nine, sorry. And five damage gets through, no matter what. Huh. I'm a little bit shocked, if I'll be honest. I'll keep it going till we lose, right? Emin Hawk's always nice. One, two, three. Buff. Take heart. Early game. We'll draw into some two drops instead. Elixir of Iron's great. This is a great in the opening hand. It's hard to say, but it's always going to be the Hawk. This gives us a turn two play. Transfusion, nice. I always play you. In the War Mother's name. What are we reversing? We're reversing this person. Okay, I'll develop. Found my family, my bloodkin. It's kind of cool. I prove myself to the War Mother. Okay. Can't block. This card's good into make it rain now I think about it. Find some value in this matchup. I'll try anyone. I guess I just Send away the hawk. You must teach me when you have I'm not gonna elixir of iron prior to playing that just to save the hawk. Doesn't feel like worth it when I can actually use the elixir of iron on these more spent like more valuable units, right? And try and force his hand not to trade. I mean Do I elixir of iron for more cards? Is that worth it? I still take damage this turn. I don't think it's worth it actually. This Elixir of Iron, we have the one mana. Like the cool thing, the thing I like take note of a lot is when you've got one mana, you know, you're not losing that mana ever. A cards like these can be played whenever. I think it's fine just to, if you don't feel like it's a comfortable play, just don't take it. Unless, let's say I had four mana here, I had the one mana backed up. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll spend some cards. I like Brom. Brom looks cool. Brom is on the job. I wonder if I value the <laughs> deleting the monkey idol off the field to deny him, deny him some value. So we've got transfusion plus elixir of iron this turn. The few. So what happens if I start swinging in? Yeah, whatever. I've got combat tricks. I can work it out once he takes his blocks. Think hard. Think strong. This is fine. Let's get a good look at you. Block. Or transfusion. If I save you. Oh, 
sometimes I see her just needs warmth. I'm gonna save you. Ravenous flock. Could be sitting on double swain. He has flock in hand. Maybe I shouldn't have saved you. So he uses a flock here. At least he uses up all of his mana. Is monkey idol doing for him? Non combat damage is two. Got blockers for swain. I need to be careful about ravenous flock. Just a little bit. That counts as non-combat damage too. Hmm. More of a reason to have considered different lines. You know I always block the... That. Sure. Victory at any cost. Victory awaits. Bleed or not. I play the biggest dude in my hand. Or I play the second biggest dude. Play the biggest dude. Play the biggest dude. Double Ravenous Flock. Stops him from swinging maybe. Oxen Guillotine. I think I might, I might have a way of getting through this if he doesn't choose to use Flocks this turn. Because because this <laughs> because this unscarred reaver is still here and exists in the game, my open attack's impeccable next turn. It's actually insane what I can like trick him into. I'll be open attacking for sure because he might have some slow plays I should be concerned about. Just developing units really, so he needs to make something pretty crazy here. Shit, my Brom can't. St this is actually insane. This is five head right about now. Must be made. Fuck. Witness strength. I can't stop this. I will. That was actually insane. Yeah, let's go open attack. I'd hate to see him have some sort of burn from hand here. I'd be so sad. He must be sitting on Ravenous Flock, obviously. He's like had these fandoms. He's found himself like in this moment where he's not passing it immediately. It's Ravenous Flock. The real question is, can I beat two Ravenous Flocks? This is to hit the brom with it. After the back of the not, not, I'm not sure about that one. Do I just go for it? I'll just go for it, right? Wait. Back row enemy. We win. I forgot about that. Ah, I guess sometimes we just gotta go raw to get some games done. Tell you what. Not bad. When we're versing other new stuff, not bad. 
was actually pretty happy about that. All right, so I'll share this deck code. I also share uh, Bruised by Gods and Mobilitics, and you can get the deck code from there too. If you're interested in playing that Sejuani Flood version, but for now, I hope I've met the requirements of providing you guys with a Vladimir deck. Hope you enjoyed the raw footage. Later.